Blitney's rejoining there, they're all three wide, Neil's trying to get involved and Blitney hits them both off! Blitney comes back on the track, hits both cars, hits the right on the back of Bradders into the hairpin on the inside, Bradders out breaks himself and they both patch, 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 just hard to say, Stevie, and Stevie passes them all, straight through, oh, Callum's lost it, Callum's lost it, and what a recovery, he uses the wall, but what a recovery there from Callum, let's have a look at Steve, now Stevie holds his own round the outside, and no way Jose, but then gets a slow run out of the corner. Bids us right off on the outside of him again. This is brilliant. LPB WTCR Championship Round 6 Race 1 from Bathurst. Hi everyone and welcome back to LPB Racing for the LPB WTCR Championship on Project Cars 2. This is round 6, race 1 and we are at Bathurst in Australia. So it should be quite an entertaining race around this legendary circuit. So let's take you through the grid for this first race then. So to our trusty drone camera and it is Pash on pole position with Bradders alongside. Then it's Stevie in third, you can see from the markings in front of the grid space which helps here. Then we've got George in uh, in. Four. Fourth, then we've got uh, Intrepid in fifth with Bert in sixth. He's making his debut race. Bert, the uh, the brother of Darren later on, as we see down the grid. Twerdy in seventh with Blake in eighth. And it's TY ninth with Neil Farmack in tenth. Will's eleventh with Bidster back in twelfth. Then we've got Darren, who the, bro the brother of Bert in thirteenth. And then we've got Cy Racing all, all the way at the back in fourteenth place. So the two Renaults at the back. So let's get ready for this race then. Here we go, ready for the start here at Bathurst. Revs rising. Oh, we've got a jump start there, looks like one of the Mercedes Jords possibly jumped the start there. Straight through the middle, we've got Bert on the outside, down to the first corner. And it is Patch on the inside, then it's Twerdy on the on the curb, hits Bradders round. Twerdy hits Bradders and Bradders goes up in the air, tumbles over, but luckily survi uh, survives and uh, has to turn the car around. But, uh, yeah, oh, look at there, Twerdy a bit ambitious there up the inside and then hits Bradders into a uh, into a spin. So that'll be looked at later on by the stewards, ho uh, uh, hopefully. So into the start of the mountain section. It is George in the lead after the jump start with Pash in second. So technically Pash is the leader, really, because uh, George will be in for his drive through at the end of this lap or the next lap as all the rest go up the hill. We've got Twerdy there in uh, seventh and we've got quite a few cars close back here as the Project Cars cameras yet again being brilliant, not as we go up the hill, it's uh, Neil Farmack and Cy Racing back there, Bids is back in 12th, so Bids has had an awful first few corners, and he's back in 12th place where he started, so not a good opening lap there for Bids. As we go down the mountain section, TY right behind Intrepid in the BMW, as he hits the wall, Intrepid hits the wall, and Pash has been passed by Stevie around the outside, Pash has made an error in the BMW as well, and now Bert's coming to, to mount a challenge. So in his debut race, Bert's already getting his hands dirty and stuck in, stuck in there as T.Y. right behind Intrepid on the way down. Meanwhile at the top, there's a bit of a kerfuffle at the top. Everyone's going slow. We've got Twerdy gone round. Bidster's slow. So another incident involving Twerdy and he's back at the top of the hill in 13th. Meanwhile down at the Forest Elbow, it's T.Y. in 5th with Blakeney now in 6th. So uh, we've got a few cars close together as you go down the straight. Oh, there's a wheel into the wall in the background. Wheels into the wall, Neil pulls alongside and that could help Darren get alongside as well as we go down the straight. Darren looking for a place on Will as he's going slow there. We might even get passed by Cy Racing as well. As you go down to the bottom corner then, it is Stevie in the lead with Pash second, Bert in third, Intrepid in fourth with TY right behind him in the BMW as he goes a little bit wide there, he's okay though. Blake back in 6th and George is back in 7th, now will he take his drive through now or will he wait? He's going to wait, he's going to go around another lap, so Blake is uh, on the inside of Blake and he's got through but he's run wide, Blake will get a good run back here and meanwhile Darren couldn't get past, oh Darren's back in 12th uh, now and Bidster's up to 11th so it's all changed back there as well again, with the action that we missed guys we will get in a replay, in replays later on, so Cy Racing then goes through into ninth ahead of Will now Bids is challenging Will back to the front and then it's uh, Stevie in the lead by a country mile as we've got Pash trying to defend there from Burt Burt putting him under pressure in the Renault into the corner and pa I thought Pash would a bit too quick into there I think he has Burt's got a good run out the corner up the hill Pash then in the 
BMW on the inside, Bert's on the outside in the Renault, and he's going to try and keep around the outside of him, he's going to try and challenge him, he's got, oh, well, right around the outside of Pash on the way out the corner, and there's no contact there, Pash just puts the power on, and Bert with a fantastic move around the outside, and Pash now loses uh, momentum, and he's been passed by, Intrepid, and TY goes through and puts Pash in the wall, so a bit of magnetising there, but TY goes through as well, and Pash gets put down to fifth, George is now the car behind him, but remember he's got to take his drive through and now Pash just playing pinball with the walls here. I've just really lost his rhythm, he's got cars all over the back of him, his BMW is battered, and it's like he's just come out of the scrapyard as you come down the dipper with George behind him, T.Y., uh, sorry, Blake, and then Neil not too far behind now in the other BMW, so Neil's on his way to help his teammate out, but he's got a few cars to get through before he can get there as you go down into the forest elbow. At the bottom of the hill that leads onto the Conrad straight. Pash going very deep into the corner there, but Nancy takes a very good line. Meanwhile, further back, we've got Binster at the back of this queue. So Binster's uh, uh, latched onto the back of the queue. He's ditched Will and Darren. They're further back. There's Will down, and then we've got Twerdy, and then Bradders oh, only just coming down the bottom of the dipper, and he's just really struggling now ever since that first lap incident. And meanwhile, down the straight, you can hear the Mercedes cars on the limiters there. Down the bottom of the hill, the Mercedes cars will hit the limiter on this Bathurst track on the straight, 100, uh, 162 miles an hour, and they don't go any faster as the BMW. Uh, sorry, uh, no! As uh, in Intrepid comes in, he must have had a, had a, have a drive through as well. So Intrepid has a drive through, I mean, unless George didn't jump the start, but George goes round there in seventh place. So weird one, but Intrepid definitely must have jumped the start because he's there taking his drive through, but George then, with Bidster going through on the outside into six, so Bidster's had a couple of good laps up to up to uh, sixth place already, so as we start this third lap, Bidster up to sixth, he's passed side George and Blake, so uh, yeah, he's had a bit, of a, a bit of a good one there, but uh, meanwhile, near the front, Bert is in second place, so second place in his opening race, that's pretty good going, TY in third, T.Y. in third there, going round the corner, he's starting to catch Bert, uh, Bert now, so Bert could be coming under pressure, then we've got Pash in the BMW with Neil now, finally in a position where he can defend his teammate, And now, but he's got Bidster coming up behind him in the Mercedes, so the Mercedes of Bidster sliding his way into the corner there and out the other side, and looking like he's got some good pace here, there's Cy Racing followed by George and Blake, so we'll have to get a replay on George's start because I'm not really sure on there. Uh, on whether it was a jump start or not, but it, but it looked like it was on our screen, but Intrepid definitely jumped the start, because he's just had a drive through, and he's back down now to 13th place behind Will, so he's uh, behind Will up the hill, and he's got to try and wait for a place to pass, because uh, looks like he's got a lot more pace than Will, as they go down the mountain, Will goes to the outside, Intrepid to the inside, and a good move there from, in, from Intrepid, and as Will's not, Will's not giving up, though he's fighting back on the inside, no way Jose is that... Uh, is that Mercedes giving up, but he has to in the end as Intrepid goes through. As always, onto the gravel though, and into the wall. Will takes it back as Intrepid goes wide and goes off into the wall. Not good there for Intrepid. As meanwhile on the straight, we've got Bidster and Neil close together. Bidster in the draft of the Mercedes, but the only problem is, is the Mercedes here are hitting the limiter. If we go on board with Bids, try and get the, our favourite onboard cameras, bear with me. Uh, there, you can hear the car on the limiter. There, he's bouncing off the limiter as we finally get to our favourite camera after a load of changing. But yeah, the Mercedes not having the speed on the straight compared to the BM. But around the corners, it catches right back up and on the brakes as well. So down the hill, we've got TY on the back of Burt now. So that's another battle developing. As meanwhile, Pash goes wide, Neil goes through on the outside. And now there's contact between the two BMs. And Biz is going through the corner that fast, he can't stop and hits Pash. And yeah, contact between him and Pash there. The BMW is not taking much in the way of contact to spin them round as Pash gets back going again. Has he got cars around him? No, he's clear. But a bit of contact there, but that, again, that'll get reviewed after the race as well. But now we'll just take a little break and look at the first lap, uh, the first half of the race replays for you now. Here's the replays from the first half of the race. Okay, here's the first of the replays. Just looking here, see, this is why the Intrepid got his penalty, because he was behind his box by that much. And uh, look at all the rest there, there in their positions there. But uh, what it is with Intrepid is apparently he'd uh, gone into reverse gear before the start and it had actually moved the car back, and so it actually counted that as a jump start, which is crazy. 
Okay, here's where we play the start on board with Bert then. So let's slow this down and watch for the lights coming on and watch and watch George in front of us. As the lights go out in a moment. We'll see it there. He goes just before the lights went out. That was the quickest reaction in history. But it wasn't a jump start for George and he goes straight through the middle and then we get going and then you can see there he gets a brilliant start. Here's the replay on the board with the Twerdy at the start end, so he avoids the slow starting uh, Intrepid and then blocks off one of the BMWs and we go into the first corner, watch here, goes onto the kerb on the inside and then just understeers the car and hits Bradders, just a racing incident really, but Brad Bradders gets rather spectacularly hit and then put into the barrier. Okay, here's the replay on board with Stevie of how he took uh, second place from Patch, to see Patch hits the wall there and we just go straight through and watch from Bert, Bert almost tries to go around the outside as well but couldn't quite manage it there and now if we just stay here and see George went wide there, watch with Stevie here see George going down the hill, he's alright so far but he goes wide there onto the grass and then he loses control round he goes and then the car catches on the back and then we get hit by Intrepid who actually points it in the right way brilliant, that's uh, very handy from Shane there and while all that was happening, at the top of the hill, we had this. So you see Twerdy goes off ahead of his edge, he's spun. Now we can't see this from our view, so we go in here and then bang! There we go, there we go. Siration tries to avoid, can't do it, he hits the brakes. Twerdy goes flying and bids to just uh, uh, hit the, uh, the back of a little bit there. And then they all get going. And uh, here's what I meant uh, on board with Bidster by the fact that you couldn't really see what was happening. So you, you go around here, we're watching the battle in front of us, and all of a sudden, brakes, bang! And then the flying twerdy goes down the hill and luckily doesn't go over the wall. Okay, here's an on board with Patch then up the hill as we've got Bert on us outside. On lap two, we go out the corners, there's no contact and Patch just gets on the power too much. Taps the wall on the inside, loses speed. Intrepid goes through it, now watch the TY. TY's there on the inside as well. Patch turns in, doesn't realise realize the TY's there. And Patch turns in and then just puts himself slightly into the wall. So just slightly unsighted there, so not really a, a major incident. Okay, here's a replay of some action that happened on lap two at the end and near the end of the lap. Watch here, George is on the kerb here, up on two wheels, goes back on the track and then Blake comes up to the inside, tries to get round him and then just makes contact with the back of his car and then the others sort of try and go round him and fall round him and they do. And uh, George then gets in traffic and Bits then gets on the inside of Cy Racing there and that's how Bits moves up to eighth place and now he's alongside George as we go down to the next corner because George is getting rid of a slowdown penalty and that's how Bidster got to six. Okay, here's an on board with Bidster then. Let's try and piece together this incident. So we go through the corner, we catch right up on Neil Farrack. Patch gets a load of curb and grass and has to go to the left. And Neil goes to the outside because he's quicker. Bidster decides to follow him to see what he can do here. Now under brake and we brake early. Patch goes back through, then hits the back of his teammate which unsettles him. Bidster goes to the inside to try and keep out of the way but then Patch ends up coming across because he had contact with Neil and couldn't really help be helped there but with the contact between Bidster and Pash because he was coming across and Neil uh, obviously just uh, got the, the, the bit of contact with him as well. So just a bit of an unfortunate situation there. Let's just have another quick look from the outside. It was Pash down the inside, hits his teammate, then Bidster goes to the inside to try and keep out of the way but then just with the trajectory of Pash's car then they had to come across, he came back across and then he tried to turn the car around and Luckily, I think he saw a gap, but yeah, turns the car around and gets back going, but all the way back down in ninth. And now, back to the racing action. So as we come back from that, obviously a bit of controversy there with Bidster and Pash, but we'll, uh, again, that'll be looked at by the stewards after the race, but uh, yeah, definitely a uh, bit of contact there. But uh, not really, Bidster were on the, on the curb, we were going around the corner, it's very hard to slow down mid-corner. And uh, it's not like Bidster does it on purpose. Well, with him being the host of the group, he's got to be uh, careful. So, uh, but uh, Stevie, five, uh, six seconds in the lead now from Ty, who's passed Bert there. Ty has passed Bert up into second place. So again, that'll be in the replays at the end of the race as we go up the hill. So Ty and Bert together, and Neil's starting to close upon them as well. Neil Farmack in the BMW finally starting to make some pace here in the in the German car. Trying to catch up to the French Renault in front of him of Bert who makes a little mistake as he comes towards the dipper and Neil now is right on the back of the Renault. Down the dipper, this is where the front wheel drive should be a bit stronger as Bert slides out. Good recovery though, just avoids the wall and then goes down the other end of the dipper but Neil Farmack is now right on the back of him. 
As we go down towards the forest elbow, let's have a little look further back as Neil goes down into the forest elbow. Hold on a minute, let's go, but goes wide, but again, he gets a good run out the corner. That's what you want. Blake there in eighth place, he's behind George and Bids. We're trying to catch up to the back of Sight and Neil. There's Neil Farmer and he's trying to catch up to Burt, but again, the Renault's got some good top end speed. It's the Mercedes that hasn't. So we are three different cars, and you can see here the Mercedes visually slow on the straight. The Renault and the BMW are catching right up to it, but on the brakes, the Renault and the Mercedes, well, allegedly, are supposed to be better, better on the brakes, but Burt runs a bit deep there, and Neil Farmer now right on the back of him looking for a way through. Burt defends the inside, makes his intentions clear. Looks like this guy's a good racer, he looks like he's a natural born racer. Into the for, into the last corner, defends, but he's gone wide. And Neil Farmer takes advantage on the inside, but he can't get the run out of the corner. And looks like Burt's going to try and hold on here, but Neil Farmer's alongside him, side by side towards turn one. Neil Farmer has the inside line. Burt on the outside. Burt gives him space and tries to carry the speed around the outside and keeps his move around the outside. What a move by Burt there! Really showing his credentials here in LPB racing, and he's not giving up on this podium. He's going to try and stick on this podium as, for as long as he can. But Neil Farmack will do what he can to try and get back past. Let's have a little look down the order then. We've got Blake, George, a few others close together, but not quite in a battle situation. We've got Bids to closing up to the back of Cy Racing. But the main battle on track is Neil versus Burt for third place. As you go up the hill, and the Renault on the right of your screen, the Neil on the left of your screen. Other way around when the, while they're travelling up the, up the hill, and Neil goes around the outside of Burt and takes the podium place. So Burt then down to fourth place. And let's see how long he can hang on. Meanwhile, Bids is on the back of Cy Racing now, so Bids and Cy Racing are about to get into a bit of a heat of battle as well. So plenty of little battles going on here and making for a brilliant race. As we go up and over the hill, Bids are right on the back of Cy Racing now. Renault versus Mercedes up and over the top. Very close to the wall for both drivers. These new guys, Bert, Cy, Darren, they're all very good. They're all brilliant drivers and it's good that we're finding this talent for LPB Racing because it makes the racing a hell of a lot better. There's a lot more to focus on as well, not just with six or seven cars going round. But this is brilliant stuff, and if we, keep the, if we can keep the numbers up, we might be able to do a multi-class championship in the next few seasons, which would be really good to, uh, for, the, for the group. Uh, adds a different element to the racing as well as Bidster almost hits Sai out the corner. Sai gets a bit, goes in a bit deep. Bidster carries very good speed because the Mercedes mid-corner speed is fantastic compared to all the other cars but it uh, doesn't look like he can make the, the move stick and he's on the straight now in the draft but this is where the Renault will pull ahead and now the, the Mercedes just about hitting its limiter down to the bottom you can see the Renault pulling away here but then on the brakes Bizda tries to be as brave as he can through the corner but uh, yeah, you, see, you can see the run he's got he's got a good run here will he look, have a look into the last, into the last corner T.Y. still second, Neil third, Burt in fourth, he's just fallen off the back of him a bit and then Bidster can't get past but George and Blake are side by side but Blake gets the position in seventh, George holds on to eighth place then we've got Pash in ninth with Twerdy in tenth, further back there, there he is then we've got Darren in eleventh, eleventh place there for him then we've got Intrepid back in twelfth after the drive through Will's in 13th, just coming out the corner there, and Brad is still only just on the straight back in 14th. That's the order so far. And on to the last lap is Stevie on the, up the mountain section for the last time. It's Stevie uh, Q89 in the lead with TY in second place in the Mercedes as well. Um, remember, not teammates, different teams as Neil Farmack and Burt out the corner previously. There we go, they're together, and still got Cy and Bids close together, but Burt. I mean, a last lap chance now on Neil Farmack, but runs a bit wide into the corner there. That's lost him some speed. Meanwhile, Cy Racing's got Bidster right on the back of him. Bidster pressurising him now, wants every place he can because Neil's ahead of him on track, and it's Bids and Neil fighting for uh, the top places in the championship at the moment. They're about 20, 20 or so points clear of the rest, so they really want to try and get as many points here as they can. As Whoa, my word. So not Neil, Stevie and Bid, sorry, so Stevie's winning the race, not Neil, sorry. Stevie's winning the race and Stevie's got some good points here, he'll be uh, getting a good points haul on Bids, because Bids has got quite a good lead in the championship, but Stevie's got quite a good lead on uh, on third place as well, so Stevie wanted to get all the points in, he can, but uh, he'll try. He'll want Bids to try and stay behind Cy Racing best he can. Into the, back, into the forest elbow, see Bids that goes wide there for a run on the outside of the corner, Cy Racing makes the same mistake, Side by side down the straight now, last time down the straight. And we've got Stevie and TY close together as well. TY's closed right in on Stevie. 
So a few battles to watch here. Up and over the top. Bid's doing the Mercedes. He's going to get uh, harassed now by the Renault because he's not got no top end speed in that car. Uh, can the Renault pull alongside him? Can he? No, Cyracing decides to stay behind. Discretion is the greater part of valour as we go across the, the top. And into the last corner, Stevie and TY. TY is right on him now. Stevie defends the inside. TY going for the cutback and getting the run out of the corner. But I think Stevie's just got enough to hold on. And it's Stevie who wins the first race here at Bathurst. Stevie wins, TY second. It's pa Neil third, Bert fourth. Good position for him in his first race. Well done to Bert. Bidster keeps hold. Uh, well, Bidster keeps uh, si keeps Cy racing off there uh, in fifth place. Cy racing sixth. Blakeney seventh. George eighth. Then we've got Pash in ninth, Twerdy in tenth. So they're all coming across the line pretty quick. So it's a sign of a good race when they're all still close together on, on the line. Darren in eleventh with Intrepid in twelfth. N decent comeback there from the drive through, but he could have been a lot higher up in that race if he had not got this jump start. Then we've got Will back in thirteenth position. He's coming across, just coming to the last corner now. Should be fine to go around this last corner. And he does, nice and steady around the last corner. So he'll be 13th, and Brad is going to round off the 14th. So we'll just get the replays of the second half of the race in for you first. There is no replays from the second half. And now we will go to the results. Okay, guys, here's the results from that race then. So Stevie takes victory. Well done to Stevie. Just followed home by T. White in second. Then it's Neil Farmack in third with Bert in fourth. Good position for Bert in that race. Fifth for Bidster. We've got Cy Racing in sixth with George coming home in seventh. Then we've got Blake back in eighth. He had a little penalty as well. We've got uh, Pash in ninth. Twerdy finishes in tenth. Then we've got Darren in eleventh. Intrepid is in twelfth. We've got Will in thirteenth. And Bradders in 14th. So, after we come back from the results, there is your winner, Stevie in the green Mercedes there. Well done to Stevie, fantastic win. And TY was really ha uh, harassing him there on the last lap, but uh, just didn't have enough time left to try and get past. So, Stevie wins the race. Well done to Stevie. And we will see you guys next time for race two, which will be here around Bathurst again, but with a bit more of a setting sun and a nicer atmosphere. So, we'll see you there, there for that one, guys. Take care. Thank you for watching another race by LPB Racing. Don't forget to hit your like button and subscribe to us. Leave your comments down below. And next time it will be race two from Bathurst. <laughs>